Hey, hey, BC, Jeff again. So I wanted to do another contest since I got everything set up. I mentioned in the last one that I was going to do two at least. This is for Mike over at Hubtoons. He just hit 500 subscribers. And so he is having a build a band contest. Reminds me of Build a Bear, where the kids used to always go. Build a band contest. He wants to have you build a band. It can be, you know, just a dream band. It could be just musicians you want to see together. It can be three piece, four piece, five piece. They could have horns, all that stuff. It could be any band you want. And as he said, don't take it too serious, which I am not I'm having some fun with this. I went all different. This is, it's really tough to do this because when you start thinking of you know musicians, you think, well, I like this because of that, and I like this because of that. Did I want to go with the pop band? Do I want to go with the metal band? Do I want to go with this heavy metal band? Do I want to go with the jazz band? It's just the options are limitless. It's just crazy, and I kept flipping back and forth. But then I finally just said, you know, I'm taking this too serious. This is not a thing that's ever going to happen. Let's just throw some musicians together that really, in my opinion, would probably work out really well but have nothing in common to where you would think it would ever happen but who knows so i want to jump right into this um and like he i am going to start with the drummer because as a drummer myself that's the most important thing the drummer makes the band right the drummer makes the band right and i am going with the drummer that many of you may not know now of course i am the hard rock i'm going to be going with the hard rock idea i thought about bringing like billy cobham because you know he's one of my favorite jazz drummers or dave weckel but couldn't go jazz because i don't have enough knowledge to start pulling in a lot of different jazz musicians but wouldn't that be interesting to pull in a jazz musician with like a heavy metal singer drummer heavy metal different people anyway i'm going with ken mary now had <laughs> two reasons and well, there's a lot of reasons. First off, he's been a favorite drummer of mine since the 80s. He is a metal drummer. He's been in a lot of bands. And the other day, he actually wished me happy birthday on my Facebook page, which is neat, you know, that he first off accepted my friend request years ago. Secondly, that he would acknowledge that. But anyway, so people are, I'm sure you're thinking, wait a minute, you're a huge Mike Portnoy fan. Why would you pick Ken? Yeah, you know, Mike Portnoy would have been the ideal, would have been my first go-to, but he... If I put together a dream band with Mike Portnoy, he'll probably make the band because he is in so many bands right now. And so I wanted to go a different route. Now, Ken Mary, he played on a lot of different metal things back in the 80s. This is one of the ones I, I kind of wanted to stick with, with a little more of things I could show on vinyl. And uh, this is one. He played with Chastain in a couple albums. The instrumental variations on which I don't have on vinyl, just on CD. Just He did some of those instrumental things. He's just a, a phenomenal drummer. And he's played with Fifth Angel. He's played with TKO. If you got that in your face album, he's on that. He's uh, House of Lords. He played quite a bit with them. He played with them back in the in the was it late eighties, early nineties, and then of course the band kind of went on hiatus, and they got back together in like two thousand three. And he was on the drummer for like the first album or two for that reunion. Um, he did some time with Alice Cooper, which everybody does. Uh, one of my favorite albums by a guitar player that he does a lot of work on is this Lanny Cordola album. Lanny who? Lanny Cordola. Lanny Cordola was also in House of Lords for a short stint around the same time as Ken was, which makes sense why they worked together. He also, Lanny Cordola also appeared on an episode of Full House. I remember once I was, my kids used to watch Full House all the time and it was one of Jesse's band mates and Jesse's played on stage and I'm like, guitar player looks a lot like Lanny Cordola and then I waited for the credits and sure enough it was this is an instrumental album Lanny Cordola again House of Lords he's played in a lot of different bands but um, great album instrumental all kinds of different styles and Ken plays drums on a quite a few of the songs not on everyone because it's got a lot of different friends and stuff but anyway he did some work with Chastain, but then also one of my favorite melodic hard rocking albums is Magdalene, and you can't see that. Magdalene, again, has Lanny Cordola on guitar, Ken Mary on drums, Ken Tamplin from Shout, uh, and his own solo stuff on vocals. It's just an all-star band, and they did this one album, which did get recently reissued on vinyl, limited run vinyl, what, a year or so ago. Phenomenal, top-notch, melodic, metal type around you know along that there is a second uh, end of the age which is kind of like extra tracks that didn't make it and some other stuff to me it's kind of like a whole second album but it's kind of not 
I guess, uh, technically. And then the band did go on to release another album or two where they dropped uh, one of the L's and I think the E, Magdalene. They, it it kind of was like, you know, sort of the same band, but not really. Most of the members changed and they went on with a couple albums that were way totally different in style. But that Magdalene album, just if you're into that borderline AO, not really, I don't want to say AOR, but it's it's that melodic, mega anthem, mega uh, layered vocals amazing musicianship amazing vocal styles amazing guitar playing you gotta check out that magdalene album this you probably can't find anymore love to see this on vinyl this is from like the 90s and he had a couple albums and it's gone all right that's enough ken mary drums phenomenal drummer i wanted to pull out he has a solo album where he did like all the instruments and sang and everything but i here's a cd Bass. I went a lot of different ways with bass. Yeah, sure, I really wanted to lean with, hey, let's pull in Steve Harris from Iron Maiden because he's phenomenal. Hey, let's pull in Billy Sheehan because he's phenomenal. But I went with, I'm going to pull in Jack Blades from Night Ranger. Lots of, lots of reasons. But, well, a couple reasons. Solid bass player. Just a solid bass player. Night Ranger, solid band. Jack Blades, a phenomenal singer. Love his vocals. He's just got a solid vocal. So we've got background vocals here. We've got a second vocalist. Or third, or however many, you know, you pull in a lot of talent. Here's a band that's got a bass player that can sing, but he's not the lead singer, so we're not going to go there. But he could be the lead singer. He did some work with the Revolution Saints, and um, he's not the lead singer, but he sings some of the songs. So again, multi-talented band already, because we've Ken Mary can sing. So we've actually got two singers already, but I'm going to keep Ken on drums, lots of background vocals. Brad, uh, Jack Blades, lots of background vocals, and can sing. We're going to pull in Lita Ford because it's Lita Ford. So here's our guitar player, Lita Ford, formerly of the Runaways, went on to have a phenomenal success. Obviously, she did the Ozzy song, but, you know, it's Lita Ford. She is just the uh, epitome of female rock stars when it comes to the bands out of the 70s and 80s that did it. I'm bringing her in. So not only do we have some amazing guitar talents, another vocalist. So now we've got three people in the band that can sing. We've got... Two that definitely can do lead singing any day of the week, him, her and Jack. So now we've got another multi-talented band. And then on lead vocals and secondary lead guitar, I'm pulling the Michael Sweet of Striper. Michael Sweet does not get the credit due. Yes, he's Striper. Yeah, it's a Christian band. And so everybody blows him off for that. And then, of course, everybody looks at Striper as Oz Fox is the amazing guitar player. And Oz Fox is an amazing guitar player. He's an amazing singer, too. But Striper's a dual lead band, and Michael is just as prominent of a guitar player and lead player and shredder as Oz is. The two of them go together wonderful. So can he work with Lita? Who knows? But now you've got Lita Ford on guitar, Michael Sweet on guitar, and Michael Sweet on vocals, and Lita Ford on vocals, and Jack Blades on vocals, and even some Ken Mary on vocals. So we've got a very a band that can do a lot of things with a lot of different styles and singers and all that. So that's all I'm going to do for that one, though. I was going to go keyboards and stuff, but I don't think you need a keyboard player. When you got two guitar players, it becomes a little overkill. So I'm sticking with that. Again, check out Mike over at HubTunes. Subscribe. Let's get him over 600 real quick. And anyway, check out the contest. Link below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back. Rock on and rock hard.